We are hearing tonight from Chicago Police Superintendent Larry Snelling for the first time since the shooting death of Dexter Reed. Snelling is urging people not to jump to conclusions until the investigation is complete. But the videos released of the shootout are sparking debate across the city. CBS 2's Jermont Terry is live from Chicago Police Headquarters with more about the officers who fired their weapons. Jermont. Eric and Joe, Police Superintendent Larry Snelling refuses to pass judgment on those videos released this week. The superintendent um, insisting that he nor anyone can come to a conclusion until all the facts have been gathered. That includes COPA, who uh, we are told have not had a chance to talk to those five officers as of yet. By now, just about everyone has seen this deadly shootout with five CPD tactical officers and Dexter Reed. Yet days after the Civilian Office of Police Accountability released the body-worn cameras and what COPA and Mayor Brandon Johnson called transparency, Superintendent Larry Snelling speaks out about why he won't pull their police powers. I will not make a decision to strip officers until that investigation unfolds. An investigation COPA continues to look into. COPA does not refute the officer's claim. Reed fired first. A police officer was shot. A man lost his life. Nobody say anything. You hear me? Yet these five tactical officers say they originally stopped Reed for not wearing a seatbelt, a claim the civilian agency is questioning since the white SUV had tinted windows. We should let a proper investigation play out. Nothing and no one should be judged in the court of public opinion. CBS 2 dug into the complaints filed against the five special ops members. Among them, they've had 14 complaints in just the last year, including several complaints during traffic stops. Just two weeks before Reed was stopped on March 6, someone alleged four of the officers stopped him without justification. The complainant acknowledged his vehicle had tinted windows at the time of the stop. The complainant also alleged the accused searched his car without justification. He was given no tickets, no arrest. It remains under investigation. Back on March 1st, another citizen said one of the five showed unprofessional police conduct, also for improper traffic stop and improper searches. This complaint is still under review. Some complaints to COPA date back a few years. In September 2022, a driver was pulled over for a traffic stop for a front tinted windshield. The front seat occupants were ordered out and protested at first. The officers forcibly opened the passenger door and pulled him out and handcuffed. It goes on to say the officers conducted a brief search of the interior and turned off the body worn camera early. COPA found there was insufficient evidence of misconduct. While the investigation into Reed's case continues, Snelling says they have measures in place if complaints mount against one cop. It will give us alerts if we see officers who have multiple complaints. And then at this point, we'll take action based on what we see. But again, the superintendent stands by leaving these officers on their paid 30 day suspension. And he insists we don't have all the facts and we'll review this case once the probe is complete and not rush to judgment. Reporting live outside Chicago Police Headquarters tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News. Joe and Erica. Jermont, thank you.